हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज मैं आप सबके साथ शेयर करूंगा ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी के बारे में तो आइए चर्चा करते हैं व्हाट इज ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी तो ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी क्या है उसके बारे में आज हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं तो व्हाट इज ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी द ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी दैट मीन्स द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स इन द वर्ल्ड तो आइए सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी रिफर्स टू द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ ए पर्सन और ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सनस ह्यूमन बींग्स नीड सिक्योरिटी टू लाइफ वर्क एंड डेवलप द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी डेवलप विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पावर एंड रिलेशंस बिटवीन द इंडिविजुअल्स एंड कम्युनिटीज द आइडिया वॉज टू क्रिएट सोसाइट सेफ्टी फॉर कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम फिजिकल अटैक्स बाई अदर्स द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द नेशन स्टेट कंसिडर्ड विद द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेट सिक्योरिटी लिंक्ड टू स्पेसिफिक टेरिटरीज द आइडिया ऑफ सिक्योरिंग इंडिविजुअल्स इन जनरल हैज बीन एग्जिस्टेंस फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस हेबस एंड कोरप्स नाइन And Bill of Right 1689 that sought to protect the security of a person and provide him the right of petition and right to individual liberty. However, the concept of security of the state has been priority to that of individual. It is the only in the last few decades that the belief in conferring on individuals more freedom, dignity, and rights as part of the security concept. has witnessed pragmatic shift a study of the evolution and the process of human security seeks to provide such a significant study of the rights and dignity and protection of an individual who collectively becomes a part of the human society aims and objectives of the study of human security this unit would enable you to first point trace the evolution of the concept of human security examine the scope of the application of the concept of human security identify the significance of the concept for the welfare of the disadvantaged section of the society now we are going to con- discuss the evolution of the concept of human security so let's get start another point the evolution of the concept of human security earlier concept of security of the individual and nation was rooted in the concept of sovereignty the security of citizens was secured by the promoting state or national security it has been traditionally assumed that if a state is secure then its citizen will be secure since security will trickle down to the citizens such a security is achieved by by securing the elements of the state this security covers full people living in the geographical boundary of the state and protecting the frontiers of the state secure, securing both territorial integrity and security of the state people are also protected as a group or collectivity collectively by protecting them from the external threats and by investing for their development which in turn promotes the national security the government undertakes the responsibility of protection of state power and sovereignty when sovereignty is ensured and enforced the state security is automatically ensured the state activities to develop the territory including the infrastructure and people ensure the development of the whole society shift to people centered to concept and the point in the second world war and subsequent deliberation in various un based conferences brought out the limitation of the state or national sovereignty based security and need for the protecting people's lives subsequent discussions on human rights led the united nation general assembly adopted the universal declaration of human rights that called for several safeguarding the rights of the people and protecting them in various way and show a good life for the people the declaration adopted the 10 december 1948 states at in of its preamble 
that the United Nations General Assembly proclaims the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights as a common standard achievement for all peoples and all nations to then and that every individual, every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive by the teaching and education, promote the respect for these rights and freedoms, and progressive measure national and international to secure their universal and affecting recognition of observa observance, both among the peoples and member states themselves, and among the people of territories under their jurisdiction. The, these human rights are stated to be valid universally eternally and get strengthened more and more as time passes however the implementation of these rights is heavily dependent on states and the international community can do little when these rights are violated these rights are underwent an extensive in-depth discussion during the 1993 un conference on human rights in vienna the vienna declaration program of the action adopted by 25 June 1993 states clearly, among other things, that the World Conference on Human Rights reform the solemn of commitment of all states to the fulfill their obligations and promote universal respect for the observance and protection of all human rights and fundamental freedom for all accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and other instruments relating to human rights and international law. The universal nature of this right and freedoms is beyond questions. In this framework, enhancement of the international cooperation of the field of human rights is essential for the full achievement of this purpose of the United Nations. Human rights fundamental freedoms are brighter of all human beings. Their protect protection of promotion is the first responsibility of the governments. A significant contribution to the human rights movement made the President of the USA Franklin D. Roosevelt, who is addressed the United Nations in 1941, outlined four essential freedom of stating that we look forward to a world founded upon four, four essential human freedoms. The first is freedom of speech and expression everywhere in the world. The second is freedom of every person to worship God in his own way everywhere in the world. The third is freedom from want, which translated into the world terms means economic understanding that will secure to every nation healthy peace time life for its inhabitants everywhere in the world the fourth is freedom from fear which translated into the world terms means a worldwide reduction of armaments to such a point and such through a fashion that no nation would be able to commit an act of physical aggression against the any neighbor anywhere in the world President D. Roosevelt wanted to this to be achieved, not in distance millennium, but in immediate future. This vision of in this vision is a definite basis for a world attainable in our own time and generation. Today, human rights occupy the extensive human space and vast aspects of the human life and society. Numerous international standards and procedures, institutions, including existing uphold promote human rights, hear the issues of rights and calling for measures that promote the human security like right to food, such rights strengthen human security. So these are the process where we discuss about the human security. Now look at the condition in India. Hmm. So our governments from 1947 to still 2014 and now which is going on. Hmm. So, the situation in India is, whatever I, I can say, that is, look the condition in India. There is a lots of joblessness situation, unemployment situation. Hmm. Many students are apply for the jobs, apply for various posts. Hmm. So, it is not possible for our government to give them job suitable job or suitable things so our government doing various types of uh, process to cut the employment candidates who is apply who are applying for the jobs mm. so they are uh, making different types of competitive exams or whatever whatever blah 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 
Hmm. So, these competitive exams are nothing, these are meaningless totally. Hmm. These are the tactics to cut the candidates hmm. because lots of candidates are applying for the post and the government is not in a way to give the job to give provide job to the all candidates hmm. so government is doing one kind of inequality through the meritocracy basis process so the competitive exam is a one kind of meritocracy process it's a one kind of meritocracy policy whatever you get you will get through your merit basis not right so meritocracy process is is a one kind of harmful process okay it will create very uh, chaos situation in future hmm. because if many people are living in a territory and they don't have any job and some people are get their jobs and everything so how they exist whenever some people don't get a job don't have any job how they exist in the society and inflations are increasing day by day on every product and everything taxes are increasing day by day so how people will exist if they don't have any suitable job so government doing meritocracy in our country and the situation become critical day by day day by day day by day so our government is totally a meaningless whatever i can say it's a meaningless government so i don't have any uh, whatever i'm saying I, I i i can't see any way that uh, government will do something good or in future they will take some important steps to solve this problem so the government is totally meaningless so let's see the election is come um, in 2019 hmm. so let's check it out what they will do for our better future and for our better generation so we need to wait and see whatever happen so i don't think so that government will solve this problem very easily i'm, I'm not i'm not sure there is no political will hmm, to solve the unemployment problem in india there's no political will okay friends if you like the videos share it or like it and please give one like to my video and kindly push the bell icon button so you can get the videos more 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 videos very easily